In this video, we'll look at the Oracle 2 char function, see how it works and see some examples. The 2 char function lets you convert either a number or a date value to a string value. It takes one of several different number or date types as an input and converts it to a varchar2 data type. The input can be any of these data types. It can be a number, binary float or binary double. It can be a date, timestamp, timestamp with time zone or timestamp with local time zone. The syntax of the two char function looks like this. We have the input value, which is the first parameter and the only mandatory value. This is the value to be converted, which can be a number or a date. The format mask is the format of the input value as it can be in many different formats and Oracle needs to know which part of your string to use. Finally, the NLS parameter is used to determine how the input value is used with languages. Let's see some examples. We've got several examples here of using the toChar function. We're going to query the dual table, which is a dummy table in Oracle SQL that lets you run simple queries like this that don't need a table. Let's clean this up by putting the from on the second line here. The first example uses the toChar function on this value here, 12345.67, which is a number value with decimal places. The format mask that we provide is this here. A series of nines where the nine represents a numerical value, then decimal place, and then a single value after the decimal. This means we have five numbers and then a dot and then another number. Let's run this query. We can see the output down here. It converts it to a character value, but it's also rounded it to a single decimal place because we only wanted one decimal place in our format mask. So instead of showing 0.67, it shows 0.7. The next example here performs a two char function on another number, which is a five digit value. But we have a series of zeros here. We have eight zeros. Let's see what the zeros mean when we run this function. We can see here that it shows three zeros and then the five digits of our original number. This has been converted to a string value or a varchar2 value, and it's padded the value that we've provided with zeros to make sure it matches the eight characters that we provided in the format mask. The third example works on a date. We're going to convert sysdate, which is a function that returns the current date. We're going to convert it to a varchar2 value in this format, yyyy underscore mm underscore dd, which is the four digits of the year, two digits for the month, and then two digits for the day. Let's run this query. The current date is 16th of June, 2018, and this has been displayed in this format as a varchar2 data type. Finally, we're going to run the toChar function on the same date, which is sysdate. But the format mask we're providing is the word month. This is a capital M and lower case for the rest of the values. So what this should do is it should show a varchar2 value with the name of the month spelled out. If we run this query, we can see the results. It's shown the word June, which is the current month spelled out in a word. So the toChar function can also be used here to extract different parts of a date, display them as a text value. So that's how you can use the toChar function on numbers and dates. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe to my channel by using the big subscribe button on the page to keep up to date with all the Oracle SQL videos that are released. Also, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment as well.